Okay, now that we created your Google account, we've accessed, let's take a look at the Drive Home screen. I'm going to walk through some of the basic things you'll see every time you log in. We'll start on the left. On the left, you are going to see your button, your file and upload button, and then your file organization levels. Uh, and we're going to talk more about organizing than and all of that, um, but you are going to be utilizing a lot of them over on this side. Um, very quickly, if you click on that create you will get all of the different options that drive for you in terms of creating documents, spreadsheets, presentations. The middle of your screen is going to be where your documents are located. So um, as we get into making more and more documents, this will fill up with more and more, and you'll be able to sort through and see all of your different documents. There's also a different view if you instead of if you're more of a visual person. Up here you can switch to the grid, which will give you actually more of an um, image document or thing looks like. You'll also be able to sort through your documents in different ways, depending on which you prefer, when it was opened, who modified it, when it was modified, so on and so forth. Um, finally over here we have our settings. Uh, the display density is going to either compact everything or spread it out depending once again on your personal preferences. And there's a few more settings you can kind of browse through, so on and so forth. Um, the final thing to look at is the search bar. Now, after a while of using Drive and it fills up, it can get a little hectic in terms of sorting through and finding old documents. Uh, the Google search within Drive is great for finding something. Um, that you simply can't find navigating through your folders and such. Um, so please be aware of that when it comes to utilizing your drive. Final thing is when you first start using drive it's going to ask you to download it either for your Mac or PC. It's up to you, I'm not going to go into that, um, but it allows you to access things offline on your computer.